Second panelist for the day is Ms. Anjali Jayakumar from the School of Chemical and Biomedical Engineering. She will speak on empowering the future with graphene-based supercapacitors. Let's first hear what Anjali has to say about herself. Hello, this is Anjali. I'm a second year student from the School of Chemical and Biomedical Engineering. I hail from India. Talking about my hobbies, I'm very passionate about music, reading and writing. And about the 3 minute thesis competition, I am very glad that I have made it to the finals of this competition. Uh, it was a wonderful experience all together, right from preparing the slide and even the talk, you know. The best part I would say was, you know, getting right into the shoes of the so-called non-specialist audience and uh, gauging the understanding from a totally layman's perspective. I really hope that I have done justice to the 3 minutes that has been given to me and I hope you guys enjoy 3 minutes in my finals. Thank you. Wish you had a magic wand which could charge your phone in less than seconds? With the increasing demand of energy sources, it's crucial to fuel the growing needs of man. A capacitor is a simple energy storage device which we use in most of our electronic gadgets. Whereas, a supercapacitor is a high efficiency capacitor which has the ability to store humongous amount of charge and at the same time deliver this huge amount of charge in a very short time. Now these supercapacitors can be clean and sustainable energy storage systems and can be used in a wide range of applications like portable electronics and even smoke free electric systems. But the real challenge lies in finding advanced materials and material composites which can serve this purpose. Thus, in my research, I aim at finding such material composites with a material called graphene as my base material. Now, graphene is a carbonaceous material and is often called the future material because of its excellent properties like strength, flexibility and an inherent charge storage capacity. Now, making material composites is quite analogous to cooking. You add the right amount of ingredients, you mix it in the right proportion, provided you know what each one is supposed to do, and you make use of a simple preparation method, you come out with a yummy dish. Likewise, I study the properties and characteristics of different materials, understand how each one can add value to my final product, devise a simple recipe of my own which can easily be replicated, and I come out with a super capacitor for the same. Now one such composite which I prepared in my lab, I employed graphene as a base material, and also employed some materials which were cost effective, environment friendly and earth abundant and believe it or not this composite gave me an extremely large charge storage capacity and it even retained 89 percent of its initial charge storage capacity even after using it for some thousand long cycle now this highlights the untapped potential that we have in existing materials climate change global warming and pollution have been haunting our planet from a very long time it's high time we pay heed to these red alerts. Now, Stone Age did not end because we ran out of stones. We just transitioned to better solutions. With ideas and technology, the same opportunity lies in front of us for a cleaner and greener tomorrow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I took three minutes of your precious time today. But let me wind up with this high hope that my magic material will save your 30 minutes someday in the future. Thank you and have an energetic afternoon.